The best places to visit in North Dakota. For a wild, outdoor adventure, North Dakota offers unspoiled wilderness and beautiful parklands. Of the lower 48 states, it is one of America's most scenic. Also known for haunted places stories, North Dakota seems to have the more friendly type of spirits. North Dakota's beauty inspired Theodore Roosevelt to establish the National Forest Service. As well as stunning scenery, the state presents a fascinating glimpse into the history and culture of the region through its museums and historic sites. Adventurers like Lewis and Clark, President Theodore Roosevelt, and Sakar Kawiwa have traveled these rugged lands before you and may even inspire you to make a mark on history too. Pack up your hiking boots and head off on a North Dakota adventure. For many travelers, a trip to North Dakota conjures up images of snow, cold, and wide open spaces. Yet this is a place to unleash your inner explorer with exciting outdoor activities and a wide variety of accommodations. Theodore Roosevelt National Park is one of the main highlights of any trip to North Dakota. Named after the naturalist, rancher, and the 26th President of the United States, Theodore Roosevelt National Park still encompasses the same landscapes that once enamored Roosevelt himself. The Little Missouri River winds its way through the rolling hills and badlands of the park. Visitors are encouraged to hike, camp, or simply drive through the park to appreciate the natural beauty alongside the free-roaming bison. Theodore Roosevelt National Park is geographically separated into a north and south unit, as well as the additional Elkhorn Ranch unit where Roosevelt himself spent much time among the Badlands. Plenty of hiking trails and designated scenic drives and other tourist attractions are worth your attention. 2. Frontier Village and the National Buffalo Museum The world's largest, albeit concrete, bison can be seen from afar at the Bison Monument and Frontier Village at the I-94, by Jamestown between Bismarck and Fargo. Its living contemporaries graze at its feet, among them a rare albino bison. Also on site is the National Buffalo Museum, where visitors can learn everything about the great beast that once roamed the American West. During the summer months, visitors to Frontier Village can tour all the historic sites, enjoy stagecoach and pony rides, and partake at the on-site old-fashioned soda fountain. Knife River Indian Village's National Historic Site This place is situated near Stanton, on an old camping ground of the Mandan and Hidatsa Indians. A number of villages have been rebuilt here in an attempt to preserve their culture. 
popular things to do at the Knife River Indian Village's historic site include checking out the museum on the grounds, which features artifacts and relics from the village, as well as significant cultural emblems of the people native to the area. Patrons also enjoy walking the village trail, checking out the reconstructed earth lodge, and hiking the various trails that wind throughout the scenic landscape. Lake Sakar Kamara Located in the west-central part of the state, Lake Sakar Kamara is North Dakota's largest reservoir. With more than 1,500 miles of shoreline, it's a popular place to enjoy the water. Sailing, kayaking, and motorboating are popular activities associated with Lake Sakar Kamara, and the lake offers year-round fishing opportunities. Two state parks can be found close to the shore of Lake Sakar Kamara, Fort Stevenson and Lake Sakar Kamara State Park on the eastern banks. Scandinavian Heritage Park The Scandinavian Heritage Park located in Minot offers a unique look at aspects of Scandinavian culture in the countries of Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Finland, and Iceland. This outdoor museum includes numerous replica buildings, statues, and cultural points of interest to explore. Visitor favorites include the replica Golstave Church, an 18th-century home transported from Sigdal, and a 25-foot-tall Swedish Dala horse on display. Also on the grounds, the replicas of a Finnish sauna and Danish windmill are popular spots for visitors and photographers. North Dakota Heritage Center Located in Bismarck, the North Dakota Heritage Center offers an overview of the history of North Dakota from prehistoric to modern times. Visitors to the Heritage Center can choose from four museum galleries to peruse, which contain thousands of different exhibits, artifacts, and displays, ranging from a Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton cast to a scale model of the Hubble Space Telescope. Other popular points of interest at the Heritage Center include the Northern Lights Atrium, the refreshments at the James River Cafe, and the immersive landscapes of the Capitol Arboretum Trail. Plains Art Museum Located in the historic downtown district of Fargo, the Plains Art Museum is home to an impressive collection of works, with pieces by regional and national artists. Contemporary art, as well as traditional American Indian art and traditional folk art, feature prominently in the permanent collection. The museum presents changing exhibitions throughout the year within its 56,000 square feet of space. The Plains Art Museum also presents various public art and gardens throughout the city that enhance any visit to Fargo, including the homage to history sodbuster sculpture located downtown. Fort Abraham Lincoln State Park 
Fort Abraham Lincoln State Park is a greater place to engage with history, hike some trails, and spend the night next to the water. Fort Abraham Lincoln reflects both its military history and Native American roots through reconstructed buildings, like the Custer House and the reassembled on a slant, Mandan Indian village. For recreation, the nearly seven miles of trails attract hikers, bikers, and horseback riders. To extend your stay at Fort Abraham Lincoln, the state park also offers a modern campground near the shores of the Missouri River. Mardahe Trail For avid hikers and outdoor enthusiasts, the Mardahe Trail is known as North Dakota's best kept secret. Attracting hikers, bikers, and horseback riders, the Mardahe Trail covers more than 140 miles of iconic North Dakota landscapes, such as Badlands, the Little Missouri River Valley, and portions of Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Ambitious trail travelers can navigate the entire route over an average of 10 days, and numerous different trailheads allow for scenic day trips. Historic Bridges in Valley City Anyone who enjoys seeing historic bridges when traveling must come to Valley City, North Dakota. There are 11 historic bridges here, including the High Line Bridge, which is a high single-track rail bridge and a National Civil Engineering landmark. To experience the surrounding area, take a 63-mile drive on the Cheyenne River Valley National Scenic Byway from Bald Hill Dam to Lisbon. This is a great drive to make in the autumn to see the changing colorful leaves. Thanks for watching my video. Please like, comment and subscribe.